Hey guys, David Lemon here, and in this video I'm going to tell you about the changes that went live recently for Groove Member version 2. Groove Member has gotten a couple of major updates uh, recently, and over the past couple of days we were slowly rolling them out. Now I just wanted to create a video where I talk about all of those changes here. So immediately when we click on groove member just from the from the options here and just select groove member you can see immediately that the that the user interface uh, looks a little bit different we have uh, changed the icons over here we have added some new ones and we have also included those icons here in the sidebar so you have the access to to all of these options uh, throughout the dashboard so you can go into your memberships, courses, portals, files, instructors, members, and then analytics that is coming soon later on. But all of those uh, options are available in here. You can also add new memberships from here, from the dashboard, just by clicking that one. And then it brings you over to the memberships. So I'm just going to very quickly go over the things that we added. And then later on, I'm going to mention the things that we improved. There will be also a list below this video that you can see the fixes that went live with these releases. So some of the first things I want to talk about, some major release, uh, some of the things that we released that are kind of big and uh, people were waiting for, for that for some time now. Uh, for example, the website name. SEO settings, favicon options, open graph settings, custom codes, and things like that. So let me just jump in and show you what I mean by all of these. So starting first with the first one, website name. Whenever you create a new membership, you can add a name over here to your membership. And that was, that was okay, this was happening before as well. But now we are using this website name as well and showing it inside the tab over here. When you go into your membership uh, website here to customize, and if you click on the settings options, here you can uh, see the website name that is being used, but you can override that one as well. So this, uh, what you write here, will also show up in the tab on the top of the top of the browser, so you have a full-on uh, branded experience for your uh, for your members, for your visitors. All right? We have also added options to manage the favicon. So as we have it here for Groove on the top, we have Groove member and we have our own favicon. You can manage the same thing, uh, the experience for your users when they log in to your membership. So you can manage the actual title and the favicon of the tab. Here we added in uh, uh, some code options, some custom code that you can include in your membership website. So this is for uh, for your website where you have all of these pages where you are showing access to your courses and things like that. So we uh, have added options to include some uh, some tracking codes like Google Analytics or Pixels or things like that. You could also add some custom um, external pop-ups that, that you manage with third-party apps and things like that. So you can uh, add all sorts of custom code inside your memberships. We have added also open graph settings, which is very cool when somebody takes the link for your membership websites and share it out on social media. Then you can manage uh, what will be seen. So for example, if you now go over to um, Facebook, for example, and if you if you share the URL of Groove, basically, let's just say HTTPS call forward slash forward slash Groove dot CM, you can see that this loads. So this is the open graph image, open graph title. Here, we do not have any description, but you can also add a description. So you can manage this open graph image, open graph title, and open graph description, so that you can control how it will look like when somebody shares uh, your membership website URL. All right. So not only for the whole website we have managed this, but we have added um, we have added the same settings for separate pages as well, like for example home page. But also you can now control the SEO settings for these pages separately, like meta keywords and meta descriptions. The page title you can manage here. This is also related to the SEO settings. So page title, meta keyword, meta description, extra codes for this specific page, and open graph settings for this specific page. So the first one that I showed you was for the whole membership website, but then you can go into pages as well and manage this on each and every page separately. 
All right. So let me just go in and show you some of the cool stuff that uh, some extra cool stuff that we added. For example, we added management of the logo of the header and the footer uh, a little bit differently than it was previously. So previously you had to go into navigation and then manage the footer and uh, footer logo, uh, sorry, the logo for the header and footer over here, which is still available, but now you can also click on here and just change the logo and then size it according to your needs. And it's just a quicker experience than what we had previously when you had to go to navigation and then logo and then size it here. It's just a quick improvement, but it's a, it's a cool new feature. Uh, all right, yes, yeah, so we have added also um, a couple new options inside inside the inside the courses over here whenever you go into your membership and then you have uh, actually it, it shows up over here as well so if you go into the dashboard of your membership so you have to enter a membership then you will see a chain icon here in the sidebar which is to get the URL of the website the membership website the login URL login as an admin or login as a specific member so you can uh, see all of those options here inside the sidebar of your membership Another cool thing that we did, and this is a major release, what we did is for courses. So now when you go over here to Groove Member, uh, let's just go back to the Groove Member dashboard. We now have an, a separate entity, which is called Courses. We have separated out courses to be directly tied to a membership so that you can reuse one course in many different memberships. So you can sell it with many different, uh, many different other things that you will be offering. So let me just show you over here. So when you go into courses, you will see all of your courses that you have created for, for any of your memberships in Groove Member version two. You can add new courses and to the library and then use them specifically in other memberships. But you could also add courses by going directly into a membership. Like for example, I have here Groove University. This is just a demo membership. And if I want to add a course specifically here, then I can do that as well. All right, so I can add a course from a library, the one that I showed you earlier, or I can create a course specifically for this membership, but this course would also show in the library so I could reuse it in other memberships as well, which is pretty cool. I won't go into depth in this video about the global course library. There is a specific video uh, I will link below in the description where Debarshi, the product uh, owner of Groove Member, he explained all of the different things uh, re related to the course uh, the course library, the global courses, and how it is managed. There is a lot of interesting things to know, like, for example, what happens when you want to delete a course or hide a course, and what does it mean that it's live here, but it, it was published earlier inside, uh, inside uh, the global course library. So if we go in here to courses, it says published here, and in the other one, it showed live. So the Barshi will explain all of these changes and, and what each one of these means. So make sure you watch that video in case you would like to understand the, the global course library a little bit better. It's very important, so I highly suggest you do. All right, so these were the things that we added. These were major changes, and it's going to change uh, a lot how you are creating your memberships and your courses. So uh, once we have that done, let's just go over to the improvements. So these are things that we already had, but we have just improved on the functionality. So as I mentioned, we had added this application sidebar menu. These are kind of UI changes. UI means user interface, uh, but we also did some other stuff like I mentioned earlier. When you go into a membership, for example, then we had uh, we had added this URL. Also, when you click over to the home option, then we show a little slider, and then you can choose where to go back to. Like, do you want to go back to the to the first, uh, like the starter page for the Groove Member dashboard, or do you want to go into the membership options or in the courses? So you can now uh, do this is kind of a, a slider where you don't have to go back to the membership all the time and then go to the next step from there. So it's a, it's a shortcut. All right, uh, we have updated our color picker as well. So when you go into the color picker or basically to change any kind of colors. So let me just come over here to the custom settings and let's just change some of the color in here. 
you can see that we have changed the color settings in here so if I want to change the background color color to yellow for example I can just use that one and uh, that's basically it so we are using the same color picker like in groove pages and in the other apps now we have the control for transparency once you exit and come back you will have the last colors used and uh, you can manage that using hex codes RGB color codes or HSL so once you have set up uh, any of these three just make sure you click this check mark button for example uh, this color code I want to just click the check mark so that it gets confirmed and then once you come back to the actual color picker this is going to be saved all right so it's a minor update but it's uh, it's a pretty cool improvement we also added some uh, cool new way of managing the header and footer customization options for courses. So whenever you have added some uh, custom, uh, custom setup for your header and footer, you had to do that separately on courses and separately on memberships, which means that you had to, you had to come over here and set up the custom colors for your navigation so let's just change that to this yellow all right so okay this is the header silly me uh, so here is the the yellow for the for the header and then footer I'm going to select another let's just select the yellow so now I have this yellow color and previously once you had that uh, saved you had to go back and set up also the colors inside your courses all right, so let's just go back to courses and then uh, when we go into edit this course we had to do that separately over here uh, for for the header and the footer for a course all right we do not see those options anymore as you can see we do not see the header and footer options because we are taking over the the global settings from a membership because now courses are are global so whatever you put them in a membership they will apply those styles for the course as well so uh, you set up the colors on a membership and you add a course in there so the course will have the colors of the membership because course is now a separate entity you can put it into many different uh, many different memberships so it does not make sense to set up uh, hard-coded colors for your courses all right so that's the thinking behind it so we can now just double check if I take the URL and I log in as an admin for example if I um, if I see the membership website there is our yellow color but if I go to access now the course will also have the actual yellow color of the of the header and footer because this is how we had set it up now all right um, let's go on to the next one yeah so warning messages when removing or hiding access levels courses and memberships uh, the Barshi in the video below will talk a little bit more about that but we have added a little bit more security for when you for example have a course that is live and you want to hide it for example now we show a warning message that this course is added to two access level in case you have members assigned to this course or assigned to a uh, uh the the access level so it will show over here this many members have uh, have access to this course or this many members have access to this access level if you change it they will lose access to the course or access level you need to click this and then confirm if you want to do that so same with the removing of things so hiding removing unpublishing uh, and basically just taking away something that you may not want to do that you may not be aware of that users won't have access to it if you do this action so these warning messages are an improvement because we have seen that people were taking offline or they, they were putting their courses in draft and then their users were were not able to access it so make sure you watch the training below that i i will link uh from the bar she explains that in detail so make sure you watch that all right so these are the improvements that i have on my list i'm just checking over here we had a, a bunch of things fixed as well so rearranging courses like if you move the course and if you want to uh, rearrange it so that your users see it so for example see this one as the second course and not the first one uh, you can now rearrange it here within the course library for this membership and it's going to reflect over on the front end so basically the users will see 
the same order of the courses. We had some Z-index issues where you were in some sort of a menu and then you opened this uh, this apps drawer or apps uh, menu and then the, the actual apps menu showed behind the, the, the menu options of GrooveMember. Uh, all right, we had drag handles for access levels, the, those that weren't working. So if I go, okay, I can stay in this membership. Let me just very quickly show you. If we go into the access levels, which is over here, uh, these drag handles weren't uh, weren't working properly in certain cases. So that was uh, that was fixed. Unable to create new courses when you were adding some new courses inside uh, inside your membership. Oops, this is a membership site let's just go into the courses uh when you were adding a new course here in certain cases it didn't allow you to do that so now that has fixed access level offer uh, model doesn't get saved so whenever you were doing some sort of changes for the access level model um for example if we come over here and then we edit course access and if you changed something to the locked with upsell and you created a new upsell offer and you did your changes over here well, clicking this save button did not save those changes so that was uh, fixed now and let's just see the last one that i have here fields for the course sales page url are missing yeah so uh in certain cases uh when users were going back to the uh to the membership settings oh sorry the course settings in the courses in the course settings um there is a there is a sales page URL that you can that you can fill out and now I need to go back to our global course library here and then I can manage this course so this sales page course sales page URL field was not showing up uh, when we did this transfer over to the global course library and now that was fixed it shows up now all right, so that's basically it, ladies and gentlemen. I have given you a bunch of things that we worked on. There is one, the most important thing is the Global Course Library. Please watch the video that I will link below in the description. Uh, it is important. It has a lot of use cases that you may not think of that the bar she covered. So make sure that in case you are planning to build courses for yourself or your clients for somebody else, um, that you check that video out it's it's super important all right that's it hopefully you like those changes we are going to be bringing many more uh, new things to groove member version 2 but until then have a great day bye bye